Testing one, two, it's Ichi Nissan. All right, hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video is we're going to be talking about the hand tracking software update with the HTC Vive Focus 3. So that's pretty awesome. And guys, do remember that we have the Ultra Leap system here. So we will be uploading some cool videos using the Ultra Leap on the Pico Neo 3 Pro and also the HP Reverb G2. And do remember, we are giving away a brand new one of these big babies to one lucky winner on the channel and also cyber shoes are sponsoring a brand new pair of cyber shoes that we'll be giving away to another winner another lucky devil on the channel and i'll be personally giving a 50 dollar voucher away that you can redeem for your meta quest or your steam or your viveball store so that's up to you and then also a fourth winner will be getting some keys from various different game studios so hmm. A lot of cool stuff. Do make sure you enable your bell after you subscribe as I'll be announcing how to enter this competition upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers, which is going to be not take very long. And also, of course, a lot more going to the channel. So do welcome a big welcome to you if you're new to the channel, by the way, and a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Do watch until the end of this video as I will be doing a little announcement at the end of the video. So let's just transition over to the news. Uh, that is by HTC, of course. So hand tracking on HTC Vive Focus 3 gets performance, stability, and accuracy improvements. Shen Yi, uh, Senior Director, Global Head of Hardware Products, HTC. This was a few days ago, by the way. So HTC is excited to announce that the hand tracking feature on our premium enterprise VR headset, Vive Focus 3, which is, by the way, uh, about 1300 US dollars, uh, not including tax, shipping, and all that kind of stuff, has received significant performance, stability, and accuracy accuracy improvements. Now the HTC Vive Focus 3, if you don't know, is geared towards the, uh, the enterprise market. It is pretty much of a beast of a VR headset. And I have been knocking on the door, on HTC's door, for the last six months. We managed to go from no to maybe, and I'm still waiting for the yes. So who knows, maybe another six months, but we'll get there. Never, never give up. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Ultraleap sent us this hand tracking dongle here, which is supposed to be the world's best hand tracking and most powerful hand tracking technology. So do make sure you enable your bell after you subscribe because I will be putting this through its paces both on the Pico Neo 3 Pro and also, of course, on the HP Reverb G2. So uh, let's just go back. So these benefits are unlocked with our latest firmware version 3.0.999.2A4 available for free to all customers worldwide starting today. Now, of course, you would hope it's for free because... You know, but who knows, maybe hardware manufacturers in the future will charge a premium for these kind of things. You just don't know. Now, the latency looks really cool, really good. It looks very much one to one. So that looks pretty nice. But I would have to need the headset in the studios of VR Essentials because, of course, I can't confirm or deny, uh, you know, what I can see here. With our upgraded hand tracking engine navigating VR environments, using our hands is more natural and reliable than ever. Fast hand movements are tracked with precision and ease. Pinch to interact is even more accurate, and we now support hand tracking during the room setup process too. Now that's very interesting because the MetaQuest at the moment doesn't support this, so this is pretty cool, and also normally you have to do specific gestures and all this kind of stuff. But as I mentioned on the channel numerous times, you know, hand tracking is the future, guys, and I'm really interested uh, and curious to know more about, you know, where things are going. It's definitely the way forward. And with the Ultra Leap system, as I mentioned, um, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, what you can do with it. Um, by the way, just in case you are not aware, uh, we did, let me just go very quickly to the YouTube, uh, the VR Essentials YouTube channel. Uh, we did post some really cool videos very recently with the hand tracking stuff, uh, which includes DCS using hand tracking. The fact is that you can use DCS with your hands. So do go and check out this video. And by the way, yesterday, we posted a very cool video uh, with the Business Meta podcast featuring Samurai Slaughterhouse. The tab, we spoke to the guys from uh, Tab Games. You know, so do go and find out because we give some ins and outs about the industry, the business aspect of the virtual reality. We're probably one of the only only podcasts on YouTube at the moment that talks specifically about the business aspect of the uh you know of virtual reality and the metaverse so we have a few videos here one of the other ones was talking to the lead developer of walkabout mini golf another one is we spoke to the guys behind pixel ripped and the other ones was we spoke to the guys from uh from 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 since riders at Cluj interactive so do go and check those out so going back to today's video um in addition to stability and performance improvements we also have an eye towards 
features, developers are able to easily integrate six predefined hand gestures into the VR applications for a wide variety of use cases. What's more, our hand tracking engine is OpenXR compliant. Oh, very nice. And high resources efficient. Now, for those who are not uh, aware of what OpenXR is, Basically, at the moment, when developers create a specific VR app, they have to adapt every single headset to the VR application, which means they have to, uh, you know, basically do different, they have to adjust the code uh, as per the various different VR experiences, which can be a bit annoying. So OpenXR is going to enable us to just use one code, that's it, not have to fiddle around with anything else, everything will be as per every single VR headset, and then you can open it using a web browser, so you don't even need to specifically download it, perhaps, in a specific store you could just go on a web browser and boom you can open up the VR experience so it's pretty pretty exciting uh, in terms of as to where the technology is going to go so being able to navigate virtual environments naturally and intuitively will go a long way towards making VR more accessible to everyone no matter the familiarities with technology now that is very true because you don't want people to learn the specific gestures you just want to have a gazillion amount of gestures so you don't have to learn anything and everything is on the go. As we step into the metaverse era, we couldn't be more excited to bring these qualities of life improvements to all Vi Focus 3 customers around the world. So, um, so this is really exciting stuff. And then you can see here, um, here of course, a little video as to how you can actually, you know, draw the boundary, the play space, which is what you need to do every time that you use a new VR headset. And I'm very, I'm very curious because, of course, how will you be able to walk in VR using your your hands? You know, this is a big question. At the moment, you can slide things, you can uh, go from one environment to another just by swiping with with your hand gestures. So basically, you could do something like this. Um, you know, just go, whoosh, and then you're in another scene. But in terms of walking, it's very interesting because someone on the on the channel did leave a comment. How do you walk with using your hand? Are we going to have to open the hand and then you're walking? Are we going to have to? You know, how is navigation in VR used with the hands? That is something that hasn't been answered yet. And of course, for any games or VR apps where you're not using your hands, you, you have to press a button to to do something. Of course, there are VR apps already. Um, in existence where you, you do a specific hand gesture and it, it creates a weapon coming on screen or it creates some spells or potions or magic things that happen on screen. But you know, the question is, how is it going to be adapted to, uh, to various different things? At the moment, it's more for companies who want to train their staff as to like how to drive a car, how to operate machinery, how to, you know, use the hands to, of course, clean an area or all these kind of things. But navigation, I think is very important. So it'll be very interesting to see as to how this will come about in the future of VR. Now, guys, I want to thank you for your support on the channel. You guys are super awesome. So let's go to the previous uh, video where you guys left some really awesome comments and then we'll go through some of the comments that you left on the channel. Uh, so let me just go to here. So guys, a little announcement, as I just mentioned now, you could probably hear that the sound is very echoey. This is basically because I will be shifting the studio to another location. I'm actually putting this studio on set so yes, I'll be moving. Either I'll be staying in Singapore or I might be moving back to Europe. I don't know at this moment in time, but all will be revealed without a doubt within the next few weeks for sure. But at the moment, I am going to be staying in Singapore at least for the next two, three months. So whatever happens next is going to take some time. But look, I'll just get to show you very quickly uh, as to this is the green screen is all gone. Everything is absolutely, the computer now is all back nicely, no wires anywhere, as to those who saw before. So no more green screen, everything is gone, guys. So there you go, you have it on the channel, little little bit of back scene there going on. Um, back, to the, back to the video. So this is where we did a through the lens using the HP Reverb G2 prescription lens adapters by VR Dash with our store, just to show the quality and also some preview of after the fall VR announcement because I was provided the key and do make sure you enable the bell guys, as I mentioned, because I will also be doing a through the lens with after the fall gameplay when the embargo, sorry, is lifted in a few days time. So David Pearson says, my lens are being manufactured now for my new HP Reverb G2. I love my HP Reverb so far. My old unit was the first HP uh, 1440 uh, VR headset. Thank you very much for your comment there. Uh, David, let me just make it bigger so you can see your names uh, better also. William Murphy, welcome back, William Murphy, to the channel. Uh, you, 
You've never built your own PC? No, I never built it. It's literally the first time. Uh, Cooler Master makes okay products. I totally agree with you. It's really crappy. Uh, it doesn't last very long. Uh, to PSU, and I only ever buy EVGA or Corsair. Thank you very much for your recommendation uh, on that. I bought another brand, so do go and watch that video to know what brand of PSU I bought. Uh, Jigsaw says, I love the new channel icon. Um, thank you very much. So let me just change over to switch accounts to go to the VR Essentials account. So he's talking about this icon here. Yes, of course, uh, the, you know, this is not my metaverse icon, of course. Um, Opilog says HP Reverb G2 is blurry for me. It, uh, I returned it because I couldn't stand the blur in my opinion. I prefer the Quest 2 over the Reverb G2 any day. Okay, good for you, Opilog. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for uh, for your comment. And then we had another person say Airbender131090 uh, says, it's fine for me, very sharp in the sweet spot, but my girlfriend says everything a bit blur. She has nearsightedness and wears glasses. So maybe you need to check your vision as well. Uh, Mike Newton says, VR Wave are awesome. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Thanks, uh, Mike, for your comment. Jigsaw says, I love the new channel icon. Oh yes, I just went through that. So thank you very much for that. Let's go and welcome some new uh, new subscribers to the channel as well. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. And guys, as I mentioned, at 9,000 subscribers, we will do the announcement video about the HP Reverb G2 Cyber Shoes, a $50 voucher to keys and other game keys on the channel. So do make sure you reshare, um, you know, the the videos to everyone on your Reddit, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, and all your social media on LinkedIn and all this kind of stuff. All right, so day subscribe. I'd like to welcome, let me just make it bigger so you can see, uh, Jesus. I'd like to welcome Jesus uh, Sopensons, Gabe doing Gabe stuff, <laughs> cool cool name, uh, Andre Epstein, uh, Tardis Great Music Videos and such, uh, Marco 0125, Martin Bailey, uh, Pulo Luto, uh, Some Guy, Mehran Ju, uh, Nei Hatsu, and Tim Smith. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. You guys are freaking amazing, freaking cool. This channel is as much ours as it is yours. So it is we, it is our channel as far as I'm concerned. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something and you got something from the, today's video. Otherwise, as I mentioned before, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the announcement video as to we're doing the giveaway in commemoration of 10,000 subscribers of the brand new HP Reverb G2, the Cyber Shoes, and also the Game Keys. Guys, see you in the comments below and in another video very soon. Bye guys, take it easy.